Hey everybody, I'm David. I'm Jacob. And we're the NB Adventure Bros. And we're here for another challenge today. Oh gosh. It's gonna be a good one. Yes. Our last challenge was um, the gross out challenge, I think, uh, where we tried a bunch of gross stuff. But since then, there's been something bugging me. Yeah, me too. Something's bugging us. Yes. Today's challenge is we're gonna eat some bugs. Now, Jacob's not super excited about this challenge. Nope. I kind of am. Um, I like to try new and weird things. Um, so, um, well, I watched a documentary a while back and it was talking about, you know, just uh, the population explosion on the planet and how there are difficulties with farming and agriculture, providing enough food for everyone. And kind of the new thing that's coming is um, insects. You know, lots of people around the world eat insects on a daily basis. Uh, here in America, it's not a, a popular thing to do. But uh, ounce for ounce, insects have more protein than beef. Um, they probably don't taste as good as beef yes. to some people. Uh, so it just prompted us to try this challenge. So uh, we went online and we ordered um, some crickets. A lot of them. Lots of different flavors of crickets. I mean, there's lemon meringue, cotton candy, uh, Italian lasagna. There's probably about 15 things of, of mini crickets in here. And we'll give you a little more detail on that. We also got uh, some Scorpion. black scorpions and the piece de resistance, a zebra tarantula. So Yikes. I'm really excited to uh, get into this. I think uh, we should probably start with the small things yes, and work please. our way yeah, up. Yes, please. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, let's look at these crickets. We've got Italian lasagna. We've got lemon meringue, okay. so you could have a Italian pasta crickets for dinner and then lemon meringue cricket for Put dessert. Put both of them in there, season a it up. A little cotton candy if you want to watch a movie later. Yeah. Uh, we've got orange creamsicle. Mmm, I like creamsicles. That's one of my favorite uh, popsicles. Uh, mango habanero, a little spicy, a little island spicy. Jerk spice there. I'm good with that. One. Mexican mole. Mm, we could make some mole chicken and sprinkle it with uh, mole crickets on top for a little garnish and flavor. Jalapeno garlic. Mm. Yum yum. Mm. Uh, Indian curry. Ah, if you want to have some Indian food today. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Quickie Mart. Uh, what does that say? Sun-dried tomato basil, another little Italian. That'd probably go good with the lasagna one. And last but not least, white cheddar. Oh, so that'd be good for movie night. If you wanted something besides popcorn, you could have some white cheddar crickets. So, uh, what do you think, Jake? So, I'm gonna try the lemon. I'm gonna go with lemon meringue. And cotton candy. How many should we do? Um, you pick two and I'll pick two. Yeah, these are my two. So, um, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna try the Mexican mole and uh, the orange cream sickle. Okay. So let's, let's pop these bad boys open here. see what we got here. How many we're doing of each? I don't know. Just dump a couple out. I want to show the people what they look like. Did a lot. So uh, let me put a couple in my hand here. So they're really tiny. They're not like the crickets you see around the neighborhood or no. in the yard, which is a good thing, I think. So if you can get a, a view of that little tiny cricket there and then that's the mole one this one looks like they're they're all the same they just have different dust on them different flavored dust so what do you got here cotton candy. jake's got the cotton candy ones pretty much the same thing just uh different flavor 
All right. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put a couple. I want to make sure I get a good taste. You ready? I'll do three. Oh, he's going for three. How many you do? I got two here. Okay. All right. I'll do two. Bottoms up. It tastes like sunflower seed. Yeah, it's kind of like a burnt sunflower seed. It's kind of crispy. And then you get like the cotton or like your you get flavor the, afterward. The seasoning afterward, yeah. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, a lot of people think, you know, gross. I, I definitely, if it was alive, it would be <laughs> wiggling mm -hmm. in your mouth and the little sticky legs. But, um, yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really, I'm not a, I don't think I like the flavor, that mole flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, let me try yours. What was yours? Cotton candy? Mm -hmm. Let me get a little drink. Alright, try cotton candy one. Yeah. Mm, it's just like, like a barbecue sunflower seed. Yeah, you definitely get the flavor second. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the crunch of the cricket. Because I think they're just, uh, they're roasted. Yeah. So they were, um, it says ingredients, roasted crickets, tangerine powder, and sugar. That's for the sugar. orange creamsicle one. For the mole one, it's got a lot more ingredients. Roasted crickets, smoked paprika, sesame seeds, onion, garlic, brown sugar, Ooh. chilies, uh, raw cacao, it's like chocolate flavor, kind of. Cinnamon, allspice, anise, clover, and mm -hmm. sugar. You wanna oh. read that one? <laughs> wow, that one's got a lot in yeah, it. Yeah, cotton candy has a lot. Lemon, it has roasted crickets, lemon juice, powder and sugar yeah it's pretty simple pretty clean food i mean mm -hmm. unprocessed um actually i think you know some of that cotton candy one's got a lot of more long list of ingredients and it kind of looks like some of it's not some names you can't pronounce but yeah. these simple ones i mean i think it's a healthy snack you know lots of protein no unprocessed food you know pop out the here. all right i got the orange Cream sickle for dessert. Definitely smells like crickets though. Kind of reminds me when you go to the pet store. Oh yeah. <laughs> we used to have a bearded dragon and it would eat crickets like live crickets. And the kind of the box that crickets came in smelled like that. All right, so orange cream sickle. Oh, you can see his eyes. Oh, that's a whole one, yeah. Oh look, you can even see, yeah, this one's a good one too. You can see the little wings. And everything on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look there. Yeah. Ooh, I just touched his eye. Did not like that. Let me hold that up for them to see. Cricket, cricket. I think, the I think in Japan, crickets are good luck. Like they keep them as pets. So maybe they don't mean to offend anyone here, but we don't want to eat your pet. <laughs> All, right, <yeah. laughs> All right, here we go. Creamsicle and lemon. Mmm, I actually got the, the sweet first that time, a little creamy orange. Kind of reminds me of like a push-up, a crunchy push-up. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like burnt crunch. Yeah, the, definitely the roasted cricket flavor is the most strong overpowering. And then you get a little hint of whatever flavoring they put on there. You want to try some more? I'll try the lemon one. You want to go for some other flavors? Yeah. We got a bunch. Let's see. What's this? Hmm. Mango. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, the, the cricket flavor is definitely the most overpowering. That's mango habanero. That's probably yeah, spicy. That. I don't think you'll like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go for the mango habanero. Uh, white cheddar. Oh, I might try this lasagna one. Okay. Yeah, they all smell the same. Just got some dead crickets sitting on our table. <laughs> you know, casual. No big deal. For Just YouTubers. another day in the life of the MB Adventure Bros. Uh, yeah. All right, I got mango habanero. This one's going to be spicy, I, I got I think. the Italian. All right, here we go. Oop, I almost tried to get away. Ooh, yes. 
Tongue is burning. Oh, it's got a little spice. It kind of tastes like, you know, like, Ooh. you know, like when you get some like spicy pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. That's what that kind of tastes like. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I don't know if I can tell. <laughs> that habanero one. I'm gonna um, try. It. I'm gonna try this white cherry. All right, you tried those two. All right, let me yeah. see what else we got over there. We have. Basil. basil. I want to try that one. Some dried tomato and basil. That's kind of like your pesto that you make. Jake is an awesome pesto maker, by the way. Um, he makes pesto from time to time. We, you know, when we have pasta night. Oh, too much. Oh wow, you hungry? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, sun dried tomato and basil. And then I've got white cheddar. It looks like they just put white cheddar on there. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah, it kind of tastes like just the dried spices of basil, like you'd sprinkle on pasta or something. It's pretty good. I'm still getting habanero though. Back Let me here. try that. Oh gosh. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Basil. Definitely, definitely get the basil part of it. Let's put a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if like a frog would eat these. We got a bunch of frogs that oh, come out yeah. at night in front of our house. When we turn the porch light on, we should set some out there. They probably won't like them because of the spices. Mm -hmm. Who knows? All right, All right we, we got, got uh, Indian curry in and jalapeno I'll, garlic I'll, I'll, I'll switch you well i don't really want any more hot i don't think the jalapeno will be as hot as the habanero but that hot kind of overrides everything yeah. so we'll both finish up with the indian curry All right. sometimes that can be kind of spicy too though if you've ever had indian food let's go what's in it um roasted crickets uh, coriander cinnamon cardamom cumin, fenugreek, and nutmeg. Those are all spices, kind of Indian, Hot. Middle Eastern spices. All right. I got two horns. Nice. Three, two, one. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good, like on some rice or some kind of sauce. Crunch. All right, so. Not too bad. Crickets. Nope. You know? Just got a pile of crickets on the table now. Yeah. So <laughs> that's about it. Um, Worst part. So all in all, I, I think, you know, it's not something that I would crave, you know, for a snack. But. If in a life, peppers. You best. could sprinkle some like on some tacos or something. Because like I, I like crunchy stuff, you know. The whenever. Indian one, I think, would be good on some like rice. Yeah, definitely. You know, you just like crush it up. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing too, that, that documentary I watched, they said, you know, that, you know, Americans and the Western civilization that's not as big on bugs, there's actually a place in Austin that is working on farming um, uh, insects, different kinds. And um, what they found is they can ground them up and make like a powder out of it and just mix the powder into uh, like muffins and food and you don't really taste it, but you get the nutrient benefits from it, so. You don't know. You may be eating cricket Scorpion. dust in yeah. your food right now. All right. So now these are the ones I'm really excited about. We got these are the ones that I'm not excited about. Black scorpion. I've got my spit bucket here. Right, let's see what we got here. I want to. Okay. Imagine what are still alive in there. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, is it just one? Oh, wow. It's wicked cool looking. Is it just one? Yeah. No. That's big. Yes. I, I don't just mean. Just imagine being out in the jungle. So I don't think I can hold that. Well, we're, we're, uh, you can see that pretty good. We're, we're going to share him. <laughs> well, yeah, but I think I'll take the tail. That's where the stinger is. Oh. Oh wow. 
Oh, he's so cool looking. No, he's not. He's weird. I'd be scared if I was walking out in the woods and saw him crawling or into my sleeping bag when I was camping. Look, you can see his little pictures. You're going backpacking. Don't say that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you need to stay tuned and subscribe and watch our channel. We've got a backpacking trip coming up over Thanksgiving break. Um, we're going up to Guadalupe Peak. It's the highest point in Texas. Uh, it's Jake's really first. He's been backpacking once before at Los oh, Maples. Got hair. What? It's got hair by his pinchers. Oh, yeah. It's got hair. <laughs> so, Did you open the Shh. <laughs> um, do you want to uh, go for the pincher or the stinger? The leg. You want not just a leg? Yes. broke one little leg off for Jake. <laughs> Wait. I, I think, think I'm going gonna, gonna to go for a, for a pinch. Because I think that's the way that... No, I think it's the other way. Because, I don't know. Wait. I'm going Wait, for the pull pinch the stinger out. out. See, like... Cause it's they like, probably, like, took that part off so it doesn't hurt you. That's true. Listen. Oh, there it is. That is the stinger. Check that out. Can you see that? Just dropping the dead. <laughs> uh, so Are you eating that? Got the stinger. Are you eating the, the stinger? We've got. There I, better not be hair on here. I'm going for the pincher. Oh no! <laughs> you gonna you gonna just eat the little leg? Yeah. Come on. No. Eat the stinger. No. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, One. oh, that is crunchy. There's no flavor on them like the crickets. Mm. It kind of tastes a little salty. Yeah. There's hey. hair. There's hair. <laughs> it's like if you had um, if you made some French fries and the French fries stayed in the fryer too long. And it gets kind of black and burnt. Get this away from me. <laughs> Look how hairy that is. I wonder if that could hurt you. I'm, I guess since he's cooked all the... That would hurt though if he was alive. Look how you can see the sharpness. No, just feel it. I won't poke you. I don't want to. Okay. Look at this. You can see. I think you can see it there. The stinger on the end. Okay, poke. A little needle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bow. They shove it in there. Oh yeah, that's like. Um, so now we've got a a dead scorpion. I think you should get a bigger bite. No. 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 <laughs> Are you still chewing? Yeah, I still like some little pieces in there. It really didn't taste bad though. It's much harder. Just Here, we'll put him back in here. Yes. Well, he's much harder than the. Um, than the crickets. Go in there. But I bet like his shell in real life, like when he's alive, is pretty hard. You know, mm -hmm. insects have exoskeletons. Drop a little science on you for there. They're, now the tarantula. Now the piece de resistance. I hate spiders. Mm -mm. Yes, that's Jake's. Well, see, now you can get your revenge. All your fear of spiders, you can take <laughs> it out and, uh, and eat the tarantula. So then you you do you know how hairy those things are? It's a zebra. A zebra tarantula. <coughs> you know how hairy tarantulas are, Dad? Yes, I've held one before. A lot? Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember you pulled over. Man. Yeah, one time I was coming back from Colorado and stopped at Paladero Canyon. Big tarantula running across the road, and I stopped, and he crawled up on my hand and got a good close-up look at him. Oh, he's not, he's not, he's smaller than the... Than the scorpion. I thought he was going to be bigger. Okay. <laughs> so fun. You, you want some ranch to dip it in? You should eat the abdomen. <laughs> oh, his little legs are broken off. Eat the abdomen. I got a little uh, packet in there. It gets moisture out. Eat the abdomen. He's a little, feels a little softer. Is that good? Well, the, I think, you know, in, in when they're alive, the scorpions, 
body is harder. So here's our little zebra tarantula. I dare you to eat the abdomen. Oh, don't dare me. Eat it. All right. I just like that circle part. What part are you gonna eat? The leg. Come on, get some bite. Just reach in there. No! Get a big old bite. Come on. It's if you want Jacob furry. to eat the whole tarantula, hit like and comment below. It's furry. All right. I can't. Do you want the abdomen? No. That's a nice little bite. No, I'm good. I'll All right. Get Here we go. Dun da da da. Arachna appetizers. Yum. Three, two, Yum. one, go. I can't. I have to watch you eat it first. Mm. It doesn't taste like bad, but it doesn't taste well. I'm not taking. Let me take that back. It doesn't taste good. It's just like dusty oh. and crummy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I can't. Ooh, I need to watch that down. Is it that bad? It doesn't taste bad. It's just real like oh. dusty in your mouth. So the ingredients here say zebra, tarantula, salt. That's it. Zebra, tarantula, and salt. I wish they had some nutritional value on there. I'd be curious to see uh, I'm done. <laughs> no sugar. Oh, look at there. No sugar added. No added colors There's or preservatives. There's sugar in that? It says no added colors or preservatives. Boiled and dehydrated. Can I leave? Does that say not food on there? can't read that. Stop. What does that say right there? Not. Well, then do it's, it's not fried. Oh, not fried. It's like, <laughs> stop. Not food. Do not eat. <laughs> and we just ate it. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. I was a little disappointed. I expected the spider to be like big like that, kind of still intact. But I guess you can't expect that after he's been boiled and dehydrated. <coughs> so, Bye. <laughs> I'm so, um, gonna go recoup myself with some chips. <laughs> Get the taste out of your mouth. Have a good one. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, remember, keep an eye out. A couple of weeks, we'll be up on the highest point in Texas, over 8,000 feet at the top of Guadalupe Peak. Uh, until then, see you later.